It's October, and time for another selection of wondrous items I've received through the post. So let's dive in. First up, a little package containing a Lemmings the Tribe CD by SFX. Nice! This CD has the 7 inch Lemmings mix, Bebop Extended, Hamster Jam, and I think you'd better do what he says tracks. Let's pop it on. Less well known than perhaps the Super Mario Land and Tetris releases, these tracks are actually by the guys who worked with KLF, and although released in 1993 to promote Lemmings the Tribes, it pretty much went by unnoticed. Such a shame. Thank you to David Blackman for sending that in. Alright, next a package direct from Amazon and a note from Joseph. I couldn't resist having maple syrup we discussed on Discord mailed out to you. By the time you get this, a copy of IBM DOS should be on its way, hopefully. From Joe slash Garon Ninja. Ha! <laughs> this is from a chat we had in my Patreon Discord room. So inside we find out that, although many wouldn't, Buck certainly would. Awesome stuff! Thanks Joe. I shall enjoy slopping this over every dish I have for the next week or so. Nice bottle as well, better than the cheap stuff I usually buy. Another small bubble wrap envelope, this time containing two little floppy disk cases, which I completely and utterly remember having myself. These are from a public domain distributor I used back in the day, and you had these little individual cases with different artwork depending on the category of what you ordered. These discs both contain WAV files, so they have the music label. Yep, there we go, public domain nationwide. So much nostalgia in these discs. These were from Edward Hale, I believe, so thanks very much, Edward. Next up is an incredibly light box sent over by airmail. I'd considered it was just an empty box, but no, this is actually a Dream Blaster S2 sent by Serge Defever. Apologies if I didn't pronounce your name correctly. Now this little beauty can connect to an FM synthesis sound card and essentially convert it to some high class wavetable sound. I'll definitely be doing a proper video about this in the near future. Thanks Serge! So another small box and immediately I know what this is. Look, it's a tiny Star Fox 2 for the Super Nintendo Classic Mini. It's in its own box and everything, it's even got an inner sleeve. Now this was sent to me by Twitter user MakeMeA, and of course it's not a real cartridge, it's actually a 3D printed fake cartridge that you can pull apart and plonk on top of your SNES Classic. Look at it, so cute! There's no real point to it other than the aesthetic, but I find it highly pleasing. It's actually a lot more solid than I'd imagined as well for a 3D printed item. I wasn't really expecting that. Anyway, be sure to follow this outstanding fellow on Twitter for future 3D printed wonders. Now we move on to a slightly larger box and oh my, this looks filled with wonder. Not only is there a freaking Sinclair flat screen pocket TV, which is making me moister than the Titanic, but there's one of the 1980s Polaroid cameras. Let's have a look at the TV first. I've never seen one of these boxed, especially in this condition. Wow. Inside we have a manual giving us some essential operating guidelines and the original sales receipt. Arena Electronics, sold on the 6th of April 1985 at a cost of £104.95 roughly £300 in today's money. The TV itself is stowed in this felt bag, and oh yes, look at this wondrous piece of Sinclair innovation. On the back is the battery compartment, was more of a slot really. It's got a flat lithium 6 volt power pack. You don't often see these nowadays. It just slots in there and probably gave minutes of power back when it was new. Of course, at the moment there is no charge and there probably never will be, but you should be able to power this on from the mains. So stay tuned and we'll take a closer look at this in the near future. The Polaroid camera is almost identical to a model my cousin had in the 80s. 
It's even got some power, although I'll need some new Polaroid photo paper to print on. I'd forgotten how bulky these things were, but again, this is worthy of its own video at the very least. Thank you very much to Peter Barker for these items, they are very much appreciated. So last but by no means least, it's this mammoth sized box. And if I can get it open you can see it contains wonder upon wonder of nostalgic excitement. There's no real other way to approach this than by running through each item, most of which are Amiga games but there's some PC titles in there as well. So first we have Caesar Deluxe with its deluxe manual and a double density disc. It still staggers me that most games fitted in 880 kilobytes, well in the Amiga's case at least. Pinball Fantasies for the A1200 next, followed by Civilization, King's Quest 1, Quest for the Crown, Wonderland with its sublime box art, the Destiny Knight Clue Book for the Bard's Tale 2, which is really everything I want from a book, Quartz and Mega Traveler 1, International Championship Athletics, Kadava, a brilliant isometric Bitmap Brothers title, F-16 Combat Pilot, the classic that is Speedball, and what's this? Nightmare, what a beauty, I've been meaning to play this for a good while now. The Monsters, Power Monger by the favourable Bullfrog Productions, Archie Pelagos, The Wheels of Fire compilation containing some of my favourite driving games, Star Trek's 25th Anniversary which I'll definitely be playing, a somewhat flattened Gold of the Realm. One of my favourite games of all time, Railroad Tycoon. The discs and manual are here as well. International Karate Plus, Monty Python's Flying Circus, Fusion, The Bard's Tale 2 to go with the clue book, Turbo CAD for Windows. Now, nine times out of ten, I get more excited about applications like this than actual games. It just feels so damn productive and creative. Then we have a Pagan Ultima 8, which is actually for PC. Check out those specifications. Fields of Glory, again for PC. Then this, the Complete Universal Military Simulator. This looks like it could take a lifetime to learn alone, which is great. You can't beat deep software like this. I mean, check out that box. Pinball Dreams, Conflicts in Civilization for Civ 2. A Sound Blaster 32 manual, which is essentially nighttime reading for me, along with some other CDs. Then there's this sealed copy of the Bitmap Brothers compilation for PC, which is amazing, but leaves me tormented as to break the seal or not. Prince of Persia 3D with a 3D FX sticker on the box for added elation. It's good to be the prince. Civ Call to Power. Colonization again for the PC before we're thrown back to the Amiga classic Loom, which is terribly exciting. Then we have various other CDs, manuals, things, a Matrox Mystique manual which intensifies my excitement even further, a 586 motherboard manual. I mean this is all the stuff directly from the era of PC gaming I love the most. Any of this could have been mine back in the 90s. Even this know-how CD-ROM, which I definitely had at one point because I can feel the nostalgia just looking at it. More discs, some loose, some boxed, all amazing. Followed by Evolution from the Discovery Channel. The Cosme Forms Maker and Filler, which looks compelling to my eye at least. And then another box of CDs, including this special edition 4-pack of Gremlin games, which I owned myself. I think I picked it up for £10 at Woolworths and I played all of these to the death. There's also some sealed Microsoft titles such as Microsoft Golf. And just to confirm that this is definitely my era, a copy of Star Trek TNG A Final Unity. I really need to get back to completing that. I could go through all these other items individually but we'll be here all night. So I'll just stack them up here and say a massive thank you to Colin Smith for sending this package to me. I am blown away by your generosity. In fact, I'm blown away by the generosity of everyone who has sent me things this month and you can be sure that there will be many videos to make from these wares. So that's all for this month's collection, hopefully we can do this again in November. Until then, thanks for watching and 
Have a great evening.